Sally Hedgehog. Today we're going to have a go at writing some words with more with four sounds in them, with more sounds than we usually do. So we're going to need a phoneme frame with four spaces in it. So if you'd like to make a phoneme frame before you go any further with four spaces in it, and then you can um, start to use the to write the sounds along with me. But before we do that, we're just going to have a little game to check our sounds. Let's just see if we can remember all these sounds. Why don't you say them with me today? Okay, now we've had a little practice. I'm going to say a sound and see if you can spot it. First sound I'd like to say is shh. It's over this way. Can you spot it? Shh for shoe. The next sound is z. Yes, it could be either z for zebra or z at the end of a word when it might be two z's together. A digraph. The next sound is a. In the middle, A for rain. The next sound is O. It's over this way. O for goat, in the middle of goat. The next sound is That's right, a thumb. The next sound is E. E for yo yo. The next sound is E. E in the middle of leak. Can you find ch? Over this way. Ch for chicken. Can you find I? This way a bit. Yes, it's the trigraph. I for night. Well done. See, if you want to play this game at home, you can also use these sounds to practice with. Just have a few sounds so that you don't get too, so it's not too difficult to find them and practice looking for those sounds and finding them. But today we're going to go on to have a go at writing these words with four sounds together. So to write them we need to stretch them out to segment them so that we can hear all the sounds. So we're going to try and say the word to a tent by stretching it out. First of all I'll have a go and then you can have a go. Tent. 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 Can you hear there's a hiding sound in the third box we've got to put in otherwise it won't say tent. Let's have a go at writing the sounds. The first sound we know is t. The next sound is te -e tent. Now this is where it gets tricky. Let's listen carefully. Tent. Tent. Can you hear there's a hiding Letter N or sound N. Tent and T at the end. Let's check. T -e -n -t tent. Well done. We heard that sound. That was hiding. Because if we'd have only heard t -e -t tet, that wouldn't have made the word tent. So you really have to stretch it out. Let's have a go at this word belt. Belt. You have a go at stretching it out. What can you hear? Did you find four sounds? Have one more go. Well done if you found them. Let's have a go at writing them. Felt. B. Down, bump, back up, push over. In and hug the tree. Eh, the elt, the eh, bell, bell, you can hear it, bell, you need a oh sound, the eh, oh, belt, belt, you hear the t at the end, the eh, oh, belt. Now your turn again. This 
into the pond. Can you sound, to make the sounds really stretch out so that you can hear all the sounds in pond. Have another go, really stretch it out. Well done, let's write those sounds. Here we go again to do a pond. P Oops. In and hug the tree. Pond. 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 Did you hear that hiding sound? Pond. Pond. And we'll do it ooh, at the end, a little bit big. Pond. Pond. Well done. Okay, this one, have a go yourselves. What sounds can you hear in nest? Stretch it out. Let's have a go. Mm. That nice sense in the middle. Nest. 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 Well done. This one has got one of our digraphs in right at the beginning. It's a chimp. Can you stretch out the word chimp and hear four sounds? Are you ready? Did you hear that digraph at the beginning? Ch we need to write the sounds for ch. You can always check back on the phonics card if you're not sure. Ch imp, ch imp, ch i. Ch im. Can you hear that m sound in it? Ch im. Ch im. Chimp. And up at the end down, on, down, remember, try and go back up the same way, hug the tree, ch, e, m, p, chimp. Right, this one has got a digraph in one of the middle boxes. See if you can sound it out. You could either do the word burnt, or you could do the word toast, or you could do both. Burnt and toast are both good words for four sounds. Let's have a go at toast together. Toast. T. Did you hear it? All those sounds? Did you hear four sounds? Off you go. Okay. First sound in toast is T. O. Now you might need to go back and check on the phonics card for O. Which one is it? It's O for goat. Here we go. In the middle of goat, of course. O and an A. T O. T O. Oops. Toes. Did you hear that S hiding in there? T O S T. Toast. Oops. Another wibbly one. T O. With a digraph O in the middle, toast. You could also use your four letter words or four sound words to write a sentence. You could perhaps write, The chimp went in a tent. You'd have to sound out the words chimp and went and tent. The chimp went in a tent. Don't forget to leave a space enough for two letters between each word and use your tricky word for the if you need to. I hope you have fun practising these sounds. Hedgehogs and enjoy your day. Bye.